American. They think Africa is full of snakes, lions and buffaloes and you just stand on a certain spot and oh, there is a snake here. People just don't know that these things are scattered. I think uh, the conception that America has have about Africa is from way back, some books, is a dark continent. Um, you hear so much about absolute extreme poverty. And, you know, a lot of people come here with the hero complex. They're going to come save everybody. And they, they really, nobody's asking to be saved. In my culture, most of people, they like to stay where they're born. Here is the place where uh, I was born. Here is my life. I like Tanzania because Tanzania is a land of peace. We don't have war, and we are so lovely with each other. When you meet somebody, you can greet somebody. In other countries, they are not bothered to talk with the people. Everybody is serious about his business. I love my country, maybe because I was born here. I've tried being in Uganda and Kenya, but still, I found like Tanzania was the best for me. It's, it's great. I mean, it's home, there's family, there's people you know that care for you. Life with my family, with every people that I love, I care for, that's the best part of this, of life here, I mean. People are satisfied with the little they have, I mean, keep on having these daydreams I and mean, dreams like I wish one day I'll be this or that but it's really kind of hard so they're just happy with what with the little that they have like we have classes so we have the rich the poor the middle so for the poor life is very hard because they all stay in the villages and it's like it's hard for them to get their necessary needs see a lot of people up there do everything for themselves those who have are given more and those who don't have, they, they, they get nothing. And there's a lot of talk about, you know, people pulling themselves up by their bootstraps, but a lot of communities here don't have bootstraps. I mean, they're just trying to get by every day. But despite all that hardship that we see and we think we understand, when you're here longer term, you see people that are absolutely happy, there's no difference in life, trying to get their kids to school, trying to put food on the table, and occasionally catch the soccer game on the radio. So there's not that much difference, I found. The world has become so, so intertwined that we need one another. Therefore, for the Americans to have a positive or conception about Africa, let them keep on coming to sing this by themselves. <laughs>